Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bird Buddies channel, where today we'll be showing you how to make your own DIY bird feeders with sustainable materials. With these bird feeders, you could hang them up in the trees in your backyard, bring them to school, hang them up there, or you could just leave them on your kitchen counter and admire your amazing masterpiece. Now starting with the materials. The first thing you need will be scissors. The ones I have here are kitchen ones, but any kind of will do. You'll then need a plastic water bottle. My one here is 600 milliliters, but it can be any size you want. Um, biodegradable is preferable, but if you don't have one, plastic is also fine. You'll then need about three spoons, but it depends on how many layers or stands you want your bird feeders to have, as well as the size of your chosen water bottle. Whether they're differing in color, differing in material, like wood or plastic, it doesn't matter, and it's completely up to you. You'll then need some tape or some kind of adhesive. Here, I have traditional plastic and clear tape, as well as some elastic -y fabric tape. But as nuts can be quite expensive, remember to get permission from your parents. The ones I have here are about week old pecans that my mum wants to get rid of. Finally, you'll need something to crush up your grains and nuts. I found that a simple bread roller would. Now that we have all our materials, let's get into the method. Firstly, drink any water left in your plastic water bottle. We don't want to waste water now, do we? Once you've drunk in all the water, you want to get rid of any squashed parts in the plastic. You can do this by screwing up the lid and blowing directly into the bottle. Once you've done this, screw your lid back on really, really tight, and then grab a sharpie and mark the spots you want to cut with your scissors. It is important to note that these spots you mark will be the places we insert our spoons into and therefore be the place that your birds will eat and stand from. Next, with a ruler or just by estimate, you want to draw another dot directly opposite to the one you just drew. You want to repeat these steps two more times so that you have the same amount of pairs of opposite dots to spoons you have. So if you have three spoons, in total you should have six singular dots. If you had five spoons, you'd have 10 singular dots. Feel free to draw any doodles with your Sharpie, like smiley faces, hearts, rainbows, anything you want. Now, in the spots that you've drawn spots, you want to take your scissors and start poking holes into them. Try and make your holes more horizontally long rather than vertically long, because soon we'll be inserting our spoons into them. Be careful and get an adult to help you if needed. If things become a little tricky, screw off your lid and pinch the spot you want to cut. Once you've cut a little bit of it, you can just blow it back up and cut it vertically if needed. Once things are finished, things might look a little squashed. To fix this, insert your finger from the top of your bottle and just push things out. If that doesn't work, put your hands around the bottle and just blow. Like this. Now we'll be inserting the spoons into your bottle. Use the handle part of your spoon insert it into one hole and then bring it through the other. If a hole is too small for the handle of your spoon to fit through, take your spoon out, grab your scissors and just cut the hole so it's a little bigger. It should look something like this. Congratulations, we've now made the bird feeder. The next step is to make the food. First, pour all your nuts into the Ziploc bag and seal it shut. Grab your smashing object and gently pat everything until your nuts are crushed. Once you've reached the sand-like consistency, take your Ziploc bag and give it a shake so everything loosens up a bit. Open up your Ziploc bag again and put in your wheat bix then zip it back shut. Use your Smasher Smasher tool and just crush those until they're flaky as well. To crush up your mixture even more, take your fingers and give it a squish and shake and then continue bashing it up. You can have small little chunks so long as they're not too big and you think a bird could eat them. Now that we've finished the mixture, you want to grab your bird feeder and pour it all in. If you don't have enough mixture, you can decide to make more or you can just deal with what you've got. This could be making more holes through the sides of your bottles or you could just rearrange your spoons so that they're on a lower level. Once you've done, screw on your lid and there you go, your completed bird feeder. Thank you for joining us today here on the Bird Buddies channel. See you next time.